In the last 24 hours, a St. Louis rapper had allegedly killed his right hand man, who was mm. also a St. Louis local rapper for 100 block of Osage. It was around 7 p.m. At the scene, police found 19 year old Latrell Prentice, oh, that was him. 19 in the alley with the gunshot wound to the head. According to the case summary, Officers said the shot spotters alert helped them get there. When they got to the scene, mm. they observed the victim unconscious in the driver's, driver's seat oh, of okay, the, car the car with multiple gunshot wounds. So he tried to take the money back in the car. Right temple area. But here's the key information right here, family. When canvas in the area, officers made contact with witnesses who stated they observed a shooting begin within the vehicle, seize the passenger, leave the vehicle, run to the passenger side of the vehicle, and fire again. And then fled the area. You backdoored your homie. He paid him seven thousand dollars for a feature, then shot him in the head and took the money back. Your own homie, yo day one. Y'all niggas, when did backdoor getting so get so f cool? That's not cool. These exotic boys, smoke exotic eyes. You ain't heard about murder boys. We got exotic lives. Had to pull up real fast Ugh, with a lot of shots. Bitch, I'm feeling just like me. I do my dance, I'm high as I do my dance. Nigga, I do my dance. So y'all know this your boy Mac Moolah, aka Mr. Moolah Mac. I'm back with another video. Y'all know how we rock it, man. Cloud stock, keep it cushion, my pocket, man. Let's check it out on for the great man. Tap in, tap in, tap in, man. All the links in the description, yo, and I promise you, everything that's gonna make your life better. It's in that description. I got the rest of my channels in that description that you you been begging for this kind. As soon as you get done watching this video, you're gonna be like, I ain't got nothing to watch. Yes, you do, folks. It's all my other channels, gang. Go watch that shit on Funnel Gray. Make sure y'all tap into my mentorship because I will show you how to get rich. If I did it for him, 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 her, 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 I can do it for you too, man. On Funnel Gray. So make sure y'all tap in. It's only $50. It's the first link in the description. Tap into my mentorship. I'm teaching YouTube. I'm teaching stocks. I'm teaching crypto. I'm teaching business. I'm teaching every single thing I did to get a bag on Phone on Greg. And if you don't believe me, go to MoolahMembership.com. I'm like Moolah Membership YouTube channel and watch the free game I give over there. Once you learn something over there for free, imagine what you're going to learn for the 50 ball, man. 50 bucks, man. Less than $2 a day. Can't sleep on it. When the family feels Shout out to the family TV. Trying to hit my geek. And Kevin won't go back home. He ain't trying to catch our green. Talk about this in person. For sure. Yeah, where you at? Oh, Brubber Soul. Oh, Brubber Soul. Y'all on Brubber Soul. I am not on that. Nigga. What you and, on, and nigga on top four. I'm smacking. Yeah. <laughs> you you slapping hey, me? Hey, son. Hey, son. Hey, son. I ain't going to face you. I was in that video. I'm like, these some new. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on, Lil Wayne, hey, Lil Wayne, ain't got time to explain man, it right y'all just, just recruited five on my mom. Yeah. Recruited who? Y'all just recruited five on my mom if I'm lying, I'm no. Like, please, bro, like, and, 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 and somebody screen record this and, 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 and make it go as big as possible. Hold on, y'all, before we get back into the video, because we finna get right back into it. I gotta tell y'all about the Moolah membership. The Moolah membership is a website that I started a few years ago. Since I started this website, I have been able to put on so many of y'all, and I want you to be the next person to get put on. I'm gonna give you instructional videos, step-by-step -step instructions. I'm literally giving you lessons out weekly, daily, for you to understand these different categories. We're talking about business, financial literacy, credit. Crypto, we're talking about stocks, we're talking about Amazon, we're talking about dropshipping, we're talking about YouTube. I'm literally giving you the gems to be a boss, the gems to be a successful entrepreneur in 2023. So this is all you have to do. Click the link in the description, sign up right now for the low, low price of $50 a month, bro. $50 a month, you're going to get access to a one-on-one -on -one help with me. You're going to get access to my group chats where my experts worldwide work around the clock, 24-7, to make sure you have the best stock and crypto callouts. That means all you gotta do is buy the same stocks and cryptos that I'm buying and make somebody all this bread. Very simple, very easy on Broke Gay. Stop waiting, stop procrastinating, click the first link in the description right now, especially if you wanna be a boss. And if you dead serious, man, if you wanna put that work in and get that money on, I'm talking about that easy money on, click that link in the description, shorty, right now, because we only got 2,000 spots and I would hate to see you be missed out. Skate. I seen him before. I just don't know where. Don't put Curry name in the song if you're it.
they got a firearm in what almost every scene of their video. So we're just going to use their picture when we reference in their music. Which oh, is key to this video. Everybody not your friend. And being backdoored is a real thing with this new generation. And yeah. a lot of them losing their life or putting their life in jeopardy <laughs> over simple things like diss songs for the yeah, bare minimum stupid. views. And yeah. let's be real, family. The term friend is being used a little too loosely. Today we go to St. Louis. In the last 24 hours, a St. Louis rapper had allegedly killed his right-hand man, who was mm. also a St. Louis local rapper. Now, the crazy part, all this killed happened his homie? after he allegedly paid him for a feature on the what? song. Then, robbing him back for the 7K that he paid. What and the? On top of that, no. He had the nerve to call the victim's sister to pick him up. Fam, I can't make this up. Today, we pay our respects no. to No. And they families. See who allegedly what? was responsible and dive into the case summary by the state and learn how he became the prime suspect. Also, go over public on? feud between these guys and other local rappers from different neighborhoods. Both sides losing their life instantly after making diss tracks. So before we go over this one, remember St. Louis get you know, crazy I too, boy. Store. So with that, I used to go to St. Louis to get my glicks when I was in high school. And sh we used to drive to St. Louis. I think that's like a four-hour drive or some shit like that. We used to drive to St. Louis because uh, they gun laws was a little lenient, a little more lenient, and we had a little connect out there. And shit. We used to drive up there and shit to get our little glicks, glocks, and all that. Shit. And I can tell you, shorty, it's busting in St. Louis. Busting. I'm talking about cracking. I'm talking about nigga. It's crack. I'm talking about nigga duck. I'm talking about watch out. I'm talking about nigga on bro grave. Not like for real, for real. It's like that. And this is what I was going to say, too. Why the f Who in the job? Who made backdoor and cool? Like, that's that not being cool, said, bro. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're we going to jump, jump right, right to it. When I say it's no out work in the streets, it's none at all. Listen, when you beefing and making music, dissing dead people, and showing all these firearms, once you catch a case and get indicted by the state, they upload your address. Yeah. So many ways to set up for you to fail. Yeah. Fam, to the right of the screen is BSG. Not Lord surprised. Man. And to the left of the screen is a rapper that go by the name of 84 Rello B. They real close friends, Rello fam. B. And from the outside looking in, you can't catch one without the other. Right. Even on their music, it seemed they dropped music together, dating back since three years ago. Less mm. than two weeks ago, they put out a song called Bopper, which is a spinoff to the opposition song, even using the same instrumental of a man who's no longer living, which okay. we'll later discuss. What he say, gang? Don't let me down. <laughs> Can't go outside without my blick and get cracked for a tweet. Oh, them niggas camping on them lives like we ain't spent for weeks. Yo, your partner died, you caught a flight, ain't even plan no peace. Now, when he was saying capping on them lives, he was talking about a man who was the best friend of his opposition who lost his life, who went live a month ago and had some choice words for them, which you'll later hear. Now, four months ago, a guy named Curry B, who's also a known local rapper in St. Louis, had dropped a track titled Bop. Same beat. I can't put my trust in shit. It's all the night before I run. I bet I put in work with the switch. I'm shooting first while JV slumped in the dick. These niggas this much, but none of these niggas got some kills. Now, Curry B ended up losing his life shortly after mm, that song. After the song. Now, shout out to STL rap videos. They reported four months ago that Curry B was reported less than 24 shot. hours after, after 24 posting hours that guy. To post this video. I'll leave the link in the bio. I can't show on this page because there's so many firearms. Yeah. But it was a diss track with many deceased people and they music. In Dutch Town, it was a Tuesday night, October 10th, 2023. The St. Louis police said they was called to a scene of a shoot at the 3400 block of Osage. It was around 7 p.m. At the scene, police found 19-year-old Latrell Prentiss, oh, that was hell. 19. B, That's crazy. in the alley with a gunshot wound to the head. Made to the head? God. Love a in the alley. Now, as we mentioned, this was just four months ago. Curry B, right hand four man, ago. is Mo P. Always stayed with him from the outside looking in. He's right. the more known rapper in St. Okay. Louis, even having tracks in the millions. Oh, so that's so his last homie. Month, right, right. When Mo P heard the snippet, 84 Rello B and BSG Lil M diss track towards Curry B, he used this platform and said this. I don't beef with no little kids, boy. I'm spinning on sh You ain't no sh I'm the biggest spinner. All that lame <laughs> Always try to do this. Main this. Main deck. If you not main tap, you a half of be trying to come out here and try to make these crazy songs like they was just there when bro died in. Yeah. The real is, boy, you ain't never did. You ain't here to shoot your gun, bro. That's the real. Do your homework. Like, like, say, do your homework. When he's supposed to die, start there. Like, like, do your homework on, like, drill up on their own type of time. 
You Let's know, start there. That's the real about it. Ain't even trying to overly push the whole Curry being gone movement. Y'all ain't even kill Yale. How the like, bro? Best believe Mo P out there and it's two. Two coming with me. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no way you ain't no way in here. Ain't no way. So don't be on trying to make it seem like everybody. Bro, why are you on? Why are you talking about murders on live, bro? What is wrong with you, young niggas, man? Y'all niggas be tweet like, okay, the streets, the streets. Sometimes shit gotta go down, but why do you have to bring this shit on the internet? I'm the biggest spinner. I promise you, if I pull up with two, two coming with me, why do you think that's a good idea, bro? I'm just so demonized. But I can, I'm feel what he's saying. All this combo, y'all really going off what I say? Not that boy, shoot you in your heart cap and Not that. Life. Okay. Like, bro, smoke a op, and I just work at McDonald's on y'all. Like, stop playing with me, bro. Like, like all this goof, clap a smoke on y'all, and go work at Dairy Queen, bro. Like, only time you can catch me, hoop session. <laughs> Who saw you face to face because you <laughs> tough and I don't know how? Cuz, I swear to God, don't none of y'all even want to see me face to face. I swear to God, on my greeny soul. Do your homework on if you don't like Mopi, <laughs> either went to school with me or just was on a bully half of the half the bro, bro, bail out anybody who y'all even think against Mopi, I bullied them. Them was my little cousins in school. On bro, on my granny soul, on, on my mama, then my bro. Then my and I heard even Lil Eggy that bro, do your homework. Lil Eggy ain't known for shooting nobody. I'm sorry her spinning, bro. Do I'm your homework. Spinning. Like like, like look, this on, time, man. bro. And they even try to even try to make it seem like boy, you and son, you ain't killed nobody. Partner died taking out the trash to some blood, and ain't none of them die. Get the What's too, what, what, what's more to say? What's more to say? I'll be done. Do your homework on. I still take out the trash with turkey butt on me. Like, I couldn't. I couldn't be one of them who get caught taking the trash out. I'm switching anything. I just shot a white lady in her to Remember, I don't even live by y'all. I don't even, <laughs> like, I, but I'm still on this. Off in the tax cause it never seen slapped out whip. She pulling up to the trash can trying to free micro drake, free turkey butt, free spike man. Too much street. Yeah. On what is please do not bring my brother up in no song ever again, bro. You ain't never kid nobody, bro. Like, like, please, bro. Like, and, 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 and somebody screen record this and, and 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 go as big as possible. Why? Don't put Curry name in a song if you're the. That's all, God damn me. That's now just four weeks after that laugh, Mo P will go to Instagram and TikTok. He uploaded the following clips after hearing his opposition had allegedly took out his own right hand man. Uh. All that work and what did it get me? Why did I do clowning. it? He clowning. See these niggas be clowning, boy. These niggas be. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with you niggas, boy. But let me tell you something, gang. This is stupid. You just egging niggas on. It's not that hard to do this right here, bro. Anybody can do it. You hear me? A 10-year-old little girl can do that right there. A 3-year-old, 4-year-old little girl can do that. Like, no, no problem. A dog can do that shit. So, no matter how disrespectful or cool or funny or what jokes you got, gang, at the end of the day, you just bringing more smoke on yourself. I don't want to be around a nigga like that for you trying to you trying to get us to crash. If if we see them niggas or if it get like that or if we really got to go on a mission for real and we got to do what we got to do, we got to do what we got to do then. Okay, then that's the streets. We sign. We we in this shit, whether we signed up for it or not. We in this shit, all right, but we not finna get on the gram, tell jokes about dead ops and all this shit, bringing more smoke back on us. Now we giving more. Imagine waking up every day giving your ops another reason to kill you. Just another reason. Every day, you get get these niggas twenty five more instead of chilling, laying low, getting your money. If you see some, you want you spank some. Okay, then cool. But this is just extra dumb. Like this extra shit, gang. I'm gonna be the one to tell y'all niggas, boy, because I don't want to see nothing happen to you niggas. Ago. And the real reason he put Rello in the investigation room with laughing emojis is because the local news has stated that Rello had gave a statement to authorities but that can mean a lot of things that's probably many told so yeah. i pulled up the case summary myself 
Novello gave a statement to authorities. That probably when they when they they probably interviewed him before he was a suspect. Is it the truth? Let's just say I don't know if Rello knew he had an eyewitness at the scene who uh -huh. gave a statement to authorities oh, before shit. he gave his. Like they say, before he whether gave you his. did or didn't do it, it's best you keep your mouth closed until you have your attorney. As you see on the upper right hand corner, March first, two thousand twenty four. This indictment was filed. The real Taylor, aka 84 Rello B, was held on no bond after he was charged with three felonies second degree M, first degree robbery, and armed criminal action. God. And keep in mind, the real only 18 years old. According to Ferguson police, officers were called for a shooting at around 8 30 p.m. in the 300 block of South Harvey Avenue. At the scene, police found the victim identified in court documents by the initials MT, who we now know as BSM Lil M. And in mm. case you're wondering, what do BSM stands for? Big Smoke Game or Big Stepper Game, according to court documents. He was found with multiple gunshot wounds and pronounced deceased at the scene by paramedics. Where was he at, though? He must have been in a crib or in the studio or something. Family. According to the case summary, Officers said the shot spotters alert helped them get there. When they got to the scene, mm. they observed the victim unconscious in, in the driver's seat oh, of okay, the car, car with multiple gunshot wounds. So he tried to take the money back in the car. Right temple area. Officers observed multiple spent shell casings near the driver's side front end of the vehicle, meaning outside through the front end. Three spent right. shell casings are found inside the vehicle as so well. He, so he blew from outside the, the rear driver's outside side the passenger car. seat of the car, believed to be outward shot from within the car. But here's the key information right here, family. When canvassing the area, officers made contact with witnesses who stated they observed a shooting begin within the vehicle, seize the passenger, leave the vehicle, run to the passenger side of the vehicle, and fire again, and then fled the area. Now, fam, let's pause it there. But that statement alone, you might could say that's self-defense. Unless mm -hmm. you speak to authorities without a lawyer. And then they find out you lying because it's witnesses at the scene. But right. you don't know that. Right. So while you lying, they know it's more to the story. Yeah. Which is how he got arrested. Right. Officers canvassed the area for weapons. None was located. The victim observed to have both of his pants pockets turned outwards. Meaning he was robbed. Somebody was Two bags of yeah. were found. And around the outside of the car, near the passenger side of the vehicle. Two pounds of but M? This how Wait, what did he say? Two bags of M? What the hell are you trying to say? What the hell is M? Oh, marijuana. Oh, okay. Oh, he just talking about loud, y'all. Two, two bags of M is loud. Pants pockets turned outwards, meaning he was robbed. Two bags of M were found and around the outside of the car, near the passenger side of the vehicle. Okay. But this is how Darrell, a.k.a. Rello, got caught. Members of the fire department observed the individual, later identified as defendant, walking down the street with his left hand bleeding. They stopped and transported him to the hospital. The defendant advised he had been shot. He later stated only he and the victim were in the car. He said the defendant stopped the car so he can change the music. But this where his memory go blank. He tell officers that he suddenly heard shots being fired. But see, this one we say, the nerve of this guy. The right. victim's sister had responded to the scene. She tells officers that the defendant had a handgun with a quote-unquote switch on it, allowing a gun to fire faster, which the defendant had described to her previously. She also states so she that the defendant that before, he called told her after the incident, asking if she could pick him up. She agreed and ended up picking the defendant up a few blocks away. When the defendant got into the car, victim's sister observed the aforementioned handgun, which appeared to have blood on it. She dropped it had the blood on the gun. Scene. The defendant began walking away from the scene. Why would you and that's pull how that we out, found bro? out about the seven thousand dollars. The victim's sister later tells officers that she gave victim and defendant seven thousand to record a music video earlier in the night. No currency was recovered from the scene. I know that could be a lot, but I wanted to break what it down to give you full context. So you just backdoored your homie. You backdoored your homie, you paid him $7,000 for a feature, then shot him in the head and took the money back? Your own homie, yo, day one. Y'all niggas, when did backdoor getting so, get so f cool? That's not cool. Y'all niggas be tweaking on my damn ass. Officers have responded to the hospital to conduct Miranda interview of defendant. During the interview, defendant once again places victim and himself as the sole occupants of the car. In and the that car. shot started ringing while he was changing music until he read his discovery. I always say it's cool to be alone. You're yep. in the streets, you gotta worry about your enemies, yep. the police, yep. and nowadays and, even yep. your friends. Fam, this was the story of a St. Louis rapper who paid for a music video with his right hand. And the reason, if y'all don't know, the reason, the reason, I don't know where they got the robbery and all that.
I don't know who connected them dots. Probably like the sister or like whoever was closest to the victim. But the reason he got arrested is because it's mainly because he admitted that it was just him and the victim at the scene. Then his sister said that you called him, you called her for a ride, and you seen a gun, and we and y'all left up out of there. So it's only two of y'all at the scene. He's dead in the car. Where did you go, bro? Oh, and then we find out you called his sister to get a ride off somewhere. Why was you trying to leave? You gonna leave your who leaving a homie stanking in the car like that? Who leaving a homie to die in the car like that? And just getting up out of there. Why would you do that? So whether he did it or not, you already are, you the, you the, you the main suspect, bro. You feel me? And whatever evidence they got behind that, cause cause niggas ain't coming up with this for no reason. Niggas ain't coming up with the feature and the seven thousand dollars. Niggas ain't. I mean, I know niggas make it up, but you know. Like, if that's the word around the city, or that's what the victim's sister saying, or some shit like that, somebody knows something on Bro Gray. Whoever closer to him know about the situation on Phone Gray. And nine out of ten, they got, boy, y'all be tweaking. I'm telling you.